Morning everyone, we're here at Bewley for Supercar Weekend and ignoring the fact for a second that they don't really understand what Supercar means there is a stunning collection of cars here so as I'm having a bit of a relaxing weekend and not doing too much I'm basically going to walk around and then if anyone's watching wants to ask me anything about anything uh, go ahead, so enjoy looking at some cars We've got three Lotus Clubs here today we have Club Lotus, we have the Lotus Drivers Club and the Lotus Forums represented. They've tried to group things sort of roughly by model. So you've got the M100 Lands down here. You've got Snows, I've brought a few random cars over there. Bunch of Evoras here. My one hiding just there. And you've got the Elise and other small platform cars and all the Esprits over there. Behind we have a ridiculously varied selection of cars of all different marks there are some really 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 cool things here I'll show you something over here real quick I'm gonna try and get down here without breaking my neck so you got a load of Astons uh, Westover brought a few stuff you got this NGTR over there uh, a Fiat 500 a bath just hiding pretending it's a supercar but um, hi Matt uh, R8 first gen R8 second gen the R8 lovers DB7, an i8, which is a pretty good looking car. Vantage GT8, GT3 RS. Uh, someone revving up. Let's see what we can find. Uh, I think the i8 is quite a good looking car. A bit interesting. Still not driven one yet. I keep meaning to. I have been offered a go in one. So tell me if you want me to try and do that quickly. I wish they'd made it a proper two seater sports car though. I'm really not keen on the sort of half sports car, half saloon type thing. Classic golf livery Porsche, as you do. Did look nice coming in this morning. Mini Cooper GP. Lambo, in of course, Lambo Green. Looking awesome. 488 Spider. When these came out, I actually wasn't that keen on uh, these. Yeah, I'll try and review the i8, uh, Julian, as soon as I can. Now this, I gotta be honest, had Gran Turismo as a kid. Uh, I remember this being one of the quicker cars on it. Um, I think it used to be the Team Oreca Dodge, or it looks similar to the Team Oreca thing. Um, that's such a soft spot for the Vipers. They're so cool. I actually passengered in one years ago before I started doing the channel. Um, what an interesting car. DeLorean. Everyone loves a DeLorean. Ferraris are very in descriptions. We got 430, 458. And I thought when I saw this it was a 458 Speciale, but it's not. Um, obviously the red one is. This blue thing's quite an interesting car. Oh, it's sunny today. I was here yesterday. Um, and it was uh, not so good. So there's the Speciale. And this is quite modified and I actually really like it. I gotta be honest. I really, really do. M430 Scud, I believe. GTRs, another random Mini hiding in there. Another 430. Oh my god, Mustang. Modified MPE M4. And this thing is really, really super cool. It's an XJ220. I'm pretty sure it's an XJ220S. They've got the fixed headlights, big rear wing. I'm certain they're more powerful as well. This is just such a cool car. They're enormous. I mean, like, huge. SLS, cool cars. Uh, Ginetta, the little yellow thing. Um, yeah, I think that was a Ginetta. See you later, Matt. Uh, yeah, it's a little yellow thing. I'll give you a quick look around, Julian. Everyone doing the YouTube thing. Uh, it's a really cute, cool little car. Yeah, it's a Ginetta. Very early one. I don't know the models could be G15. Total guess. But it's really, really sweet. Really nice. Love the colour. That's okay, Jao. Gonna guess. All right, I'll walk around to the Lotus in a bit. So go there. Then. For the fans of Japanese stuff, there's something really, really, really tasty down here. It's 
uh, we have a cigar, it's obviously not for fans of Japanese cars, in the usual TVR bonkers paint. But there's this really nice modified NSX. Which the owner's had for, uh, he's had for 22 years. So, modified it quite a bit. Nice bit on the side. Built by Honda, tuned by a legend. Uh, and the, um, pretty sure this is signature, orange, V6 cup, looking cool. So, we run through here. Got a selection of rally cars the other side. Any problem with live stuff is it takes ages to get places because this is all obviously unedited so your patience is appreciated. A lot of Porsches over there, walk through those in a minute, but they seem to be very very disappointing in terms of not having an awful lot of colour in them. Uh, lots of silvers and greys today. Yeah, orange is a pretty good colour, almost as fast as yellow. So there's a really cool selection of rally cars. Oh thanks Charlie, oh, you could have been here yourself. Oh, Detail Monkey, shout out Valley Pro. Uh, oh, the cap that I'm wearing is one from the Jim Clark uh, Historic from a few years ago. It's a big race at Hockenheim. So we have a selection of pretty cool rally cars here. This is really nice. Quattro, this is a classic. RS200. I think somebody put one of these in the hay bales at Goodwood uh, recently. It's a Rob Gibson car. Still competing apparently today. Here's more of the Quattro then. Some fairly serious detailing work on these arches. You can just appreciate it's all sculpted, there's aero coming through. Pretty wild at the back. And uh, top of the shock appears to be a cannon ripple. Interior looks pretty tasty. Obligatory, enormous spoiler. Oh, check this out, you can see radiator stuff through the back and just the one exhaust. Although it may have some others exiting somewhere else that I haven't spotted. You can see how much it's grown from the car that it's based on. RS200, got its engine on display. You can see that they are really just space frame cars. They're basically some scaffolding engine composite bodywork, they're pretty serious. Yeah, wing's pretty crazy, isn't it? Lots and lots of plumbing in the back of these cars. Ford BDA, very famous engine, very classic rally car. Oh, 911. Now, yesterday there was a GT3 4.0. I'm not sure. Uh, what they're being used for, uh, Julian. Um, they all seem to be organised or owned by the same guy. Uh, they're advertising the Retro Rallycross Championship. So we have a selection of stuff here. A um, little sneak preview to the guys that are watching. Uh, I filmed a review of the new 991.2 Carrera GTS the other day. Uh, we managed to get a manual car as well, which was quite, uh, uh, quite lucky. So that was an interesting thing to do. Uh, Dan, actually, I'm really trying to get a 1.6 Elise. Uh, the problem is that no dealers basically have them in stock because no one buys them. Uh, I'd love to have one for review. Um, love some of these blues. Particularly love the really, really bold blue. I think this is Miami. Reminds me a lot of my uh, Laguna Seca blue M3. That's cool. There you go, nice selection of Porsches that either is or isn't your thing.
some really, really nice Esprits. I still desperately want an Esprit one day. So this car on the end uh, belongs to a guy called Johnny, who you probably know better as Dr. Pittenstein. He also has a channel on YouTube. So he's got this lovely thing. But you, the reality is you only have to pay with it costs money and How's it going, Johnny? Standing up on YouTube. Yeah, I'm trying live, live I'm trying live streaming. Is it live streaming to YouTube? Yeah, I'm live streaming. I've just given you a shout out because I'm such a nice person. Yeah. Get people watching because you can walk around the cars, ask questions and all that sort of stuff. You mind if I get a shot of the inside of your car while I'm here? There you go. This is such a pretty car. This is so well kept. So the interior of these old Esprits is really, really special. So when you sit in it, you feel uh, you, you feel so far down. I mean, that's pretty much what the driver sees. You got this real space age kind of dash pod here. It's a really, really well preserved car. Yeah, it's got the roof stereo. Panasonic roof stereo which is just the coolest thing ever in a car, let's be honest about that. Nice comfy seats as well. Those nice supercars didn't always have rock hard bucket seats in them. This even has, or it certainly had recently, actual tyres from 1984 on it as well. It's a seriously, seriously nice car. Various different ones now. I drove down this morning with the sort of light blue coloured one, which is up here. Uh, A868. Belongs to a chap called Kevin, who very kindly uh, put me up last night as I've been here for two days. Um, we had a really, really good drive down this morning. There's some nice twisty Lotus type roads, and you wouldn't believe for a 33 year old car, you'd not believe how well these things handle. They're amazing. This is also one of my personal favourites, it's an S4S, an Azure Blue, another really, really stunning looking car. Check out the split rim wheels, real nice detail. So, such a, such a cool car. Uh, you got another Stevens car, earlier car. Loads and loads of releases many many descriptions love the color on this one a couple of red ones this one here in the middle owned by the world famous bibs the lotus forms uh, this one here being mine i'll show you guys what's been going on with the interior we just had the seats redone just had some adjustments and things made so we've now got these cobra logos a bit higher up you can see the nice carbon fiber detailing on the back of the seat. So Cobra's carbon fiber is made by the same people that do uh, carbon fiber stuff for McLaren. And I've also had the interior uh, color code a little bit, put a few bits of yellow in it. Um, and I'm gonna change the stitching in the door to yellow as well, because we've got yellow stitching in the seat now. So we're just working on things. Um, just trying to uh, keep the car interesting, keep doing more stuff with it. Uh, I also fancy, I've been thinking of doing it for a while, and I'm really tempted now as I've seen this one. You can buy uh, GTE style scoops for the side. Uh, so, get these little carbon fiber scoops. Uh, there's going to be an update on the XL soon. Um, unfortunately, it, it, the update is I've sold it because um, I'm running this business now, so I had to free up some cash, and unfortunately, um, that had to go. So, I've sold that and I've sold my BMW as well. Um, but there'll be a longer video explaining that um, fairly soon. So, M100 Elan's really super underrated car. Elan Plus 2, okay. Let's see the Elan Plus 2's. Uh, oh, actually, you'll be happy to know there is going to be a video review of an Elan Plus 2 in the future. I need to organise it, but I've been offered a, offered a go. So, um, this is the uh, stuff that Snows have brought. A selection of cars and those noises are being made by Maserati. Right, Lance, here we go. Older Lance.
So you can take your pick of classic early original on land. Yeah, nice selection of these. Yeah, they are tiny cars. Um, I did a track day with uh, uh, with some guys in these, uh, and I was driving behind them. You got two two grown adults in an Elan. Um, they make the Elise look big, put it that way. So, but they are such such pretty pretty cars. Um, really really nice. I love this sort of a. It is a purpley. It's a maroon color, I think. Maroon burgundy kind of color, maybe. So then you got the Europa here. A sprint. Uh, something over here you guys might like as well. If you like Lotus, I guess there's a half a decent chance that you might like the um, TVRs. I like them anyway. T350T by the looks of it. Quite rare, it's got two little panels in the top, pop out. Chimeras, Tuscans. I wanted to buy one of these. Was really, really, really tempted. I probably should have done because I could have made a lot of money. Unfortunately, I was also worried about spending an awful lot of money because uh, they do like to go wrong. Some Cerberus, such a beastie looking car. So they've got a couple of engine bays open here, which is worth looking at. So, okay, so you've got two different cars. You've got, so this one has got the Speed 6 motor in it straight six that the TVR developed and this one has got the AJP 8 in it by the looks of it so you can see how far back in the chassis that engine is to give it some good handling and uh, notice how the sort of codes and things all look like they're basically hand hand put on sorry this is not a I'm being an idiot this is not a server at all this is a uh, Chimera says a Rover V8 um, but, uh, being live, I can't edit that out Uh, interior. So more alarms going off because they do that if you leave the windows open and you leave them locked. I love this Chimera in yellow. Such a cool car. And um, I am a fan of wacky colours. This Cerbera in purple. This looks a lot like the Lamborghini Diablo purple. Is it? Oh, it's for sale. Oh no. This is a. Oh, thankfully it's a Speed 6, so that's going to keep me away from it. This is such a good looking car. It's just mean. They sit so low, they're so low and long, they look like, they look like a sort of comic book type car. Really, really mean. Really nice. So, got a few Lambos that have turned up as well. Not anywhere near as many as I was sort of expecting. Um, so we've got a few Gardos. Uh, there was an Aventador SV here yesterday, which uh, I think should turn up again today. Um, there you go. Quick look at those. You know, the Lamy Club's down there, not really doing a lot of business. Uh, got some stuff there. Yeah, so you've got a yellow Murtiolago SV. They do look mean. I did consider buying one of these when it came to getting the, um, uh, the Evora, but... Um, yeah, they were, uh, there's a few things stop me, basically. I love the scissor doors though. Everyone loves scissor doors. Quite classic looking wheels on that one as well. So, good Bentley looking thing moving in there. V10 Spider, another XJ220. We'll walk through now to the other half, so it's going to take a minute or so. So if you want to put a cup of, a cup of tea or coffee on, it'll take us a minute to get over there. It's been a really lovely day today. Uh, yesterday it was um, not so good. Not so good. It rained a couple of times. Oh, what have we got coming in? Oh, yes, the Vauxhall Mocha. Hallmark of the supercar kingdom. There's the RS 4.0. So, such an extreme cool looking car. And uh, 
crazy money now as well. Crazy, crazy money. A lot of scaffolding in the back. Serious looking seats. Mega car. Monster wing, as it's standard. Uh, Julian, yes, maintenance on the Lamborghini would make me cry compared to the Lotus. Uh, so I was looking at the Gallardo. I went to, there's a local place just down the road, so getting a Gallardo service, I'd only have to drive about five miles and um, to get it serviced, uh, whereas the Lotus I got to drive like 25, but they uh, had a Gallardo, they're having to rebuild the engine and it was going to cost at least £20,000, and that wasn't an uncommon thing to have to do, and uh, I just don't have 20 grand spare at all times to, to rebuild, the, uh, rebuild an engine on a Lambo. Uh, I haven't seen any 928s here, uh, Julian, so um, yeah, there haven't really been many classic Porsches at all, actually. Quite disappointing. This guy's having a bit of fun with his Bentley and Mini Me. Good selection of stuff up here, a bit random. This is the Sporting Bears, so a lot of events they offer dream rides, so basically you can uh, make a donation to a children's charity and you get a passenger ride in a car. I have done that in the past. I'll probably do that again with the Lotus. 360 Challenge to Dali. Oh, Alfa Romeo 8C. That's something you don't see every day. A lot of McLarens up there. So there's not so much over here, but there is some really, really nice stuff. There was an F40 hiding here yesterday. Oh, we have a LaFerrari over here. Uh, I'll be honest, when they came out and I saw the pictures, I wasn't that keen on LaFerrari. But having seen them in the flesh, it's a stunning, stunning car. It is big, but the Enzo was huge as well. Um, very subtle color this, and a wilder color, it looks amazing. Let's move through over here. Uh, we've got another i8. More R8s, more garden variety stuff. AMG GT. These have never, um, these these have never ever appealed to me. Kind of like the SLS, but these just look to me a bit generic. Don't know why. Aerial Atom. Love to have a go at one of those, but um, that's uh, unfortunately a long way away. DB11, also not keen on the looks of that. Now, a car that I am, well, I'm not considering at all. Love the way they've done this Aston Martin up. Fantastic colour. Aston Martins don't come in nice colours anywhere near often enough, I think. There's a Sport 380 now, I think that could be Daytona blue, maybe, I'm not sure. But it's not the, one of the standard blues. Yes, I'm pleased with I've not had it very long. Now, what they do have here today is they have a McLaren 720S. Now, I've been trying to get one of these for a review. I may be able to, I don't know. Uh, but I've been speaking to a McLaren dealer for a little while. It, I have to be honest, in pictures I really, really, really don't like the looks, but it does look better in the flesh. I'm annoyed they've got the doors up because I think it works a lot better with the doors shut, obviously. But um, it does kind of work better in person. Um, whether I like it or not, though, I'm still undecided. Loads of yellow things along here, including an F12 TDF, which I think is incredibly sexy. Another mad Viper with gargantuan rear wheels on it. 488. Yeah, this F12 TDF is just stunning. Obviously, this is a 488, the thing behind it I'm talking about. There you go. So follow the carguys.tv. It is an awesome car. Not not so keen on the black stripe along here, but it is gorgeous. Hugh Grant's a big car fan. Oh, another few interesting cars here. So Snows have brought the new Lexus LC500 here. So this is the first time I've seen one in the flesh. Still not sure if I like it or not. But I'm really glad that Lexus are making stuff like this. 
what I do actually like though is the new NSX. Not in silver, because silver is a dull colour for any car, but in the blue that they do, they look absolutely awesome. And actually, if you look at this, compared to the GTR, it looks like a fairly small and svelte car. Wheels are a bit bling bling, I think that's probably the biggest giveaway that is designed in America. Nice coloured 911. And let's just wander over and there's a few more McLarens over there. And that sort of pretty much sums it up, apart from the stuff in the museum, but I'm not going to get a signal to broadcast in the uh, museum. So I'm really hoping to bring some McLaren content to the channel because I think a lot of you guys would appreciate that. And I have driven uh, a McLaren and they are really, really nice. <laughs> That's okay, Joel. I am no doubt screwing your name up, so sorry. Um, there's the 8C. Here's the McLaren. No McLarens, obviously. Got a big mix. Actually, you know, I really, really like the look of the 12C. I think, actually, it's aged really, really well. It's one of the most cohesive-looking designs that they've made. Again, some of the lower models, 540s, 570s, with GT and S's. That's all right, John. I'm kind of experimenting with uh, with doing some of this live stuff. Hopefully, you guys like it. I saw this thing yesterday. This thing looks absolutely insane. 675 LT in uh, green. I'm not sure which shade of green this is, but um, it's a stunning looking car. It's amazing how different the 675 looks to the 650. It's cool. Sorry, no, this wasn't the car I saw yesterday. This is the car that I saw yesterday in the lighter green. Actually. It could be Mantis. Got a bit of a stripe in it. And uh, looks like a leather interior as well. Oh, is it half leather, half half tire? Anyway, really nice looking car. Oh, it's got MSO wing on the back. Plenty of toys and things on it. Really, really nice. Yeah, that's, yeah. A few different cars, a few older ones as well, a few more 12Cs. And that kind of uh, rounds it off, really. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed watching. Um, a bit of different content, really, seeing how it works. Um, they're going to do some runs down the strip later on today, like a mini Goodwood type thing. They're just going to blast the cars down uh, over like an eighth of a mile type thing. And um, yeah, so I. Uh, Hope you've enjoyed and I'll um, see you guys soon. Please keep yourselves occupied on a lovely Sunday with watching some of my other videos maybe. Just a suggestion. Bye everybody. Now how do I turn this thing off?